Hello, it's Sarah. And here's my faux dory with fabric. So here's my little one. This is the, what is it? Like, it's five and a half by four by three and three quarters, something like that. Um, see, it's about the size of my hand. I actually was making the bigger one in the fabric and I ended up cutting it down because I burned it. I told you, oh, well, I'm writing, writing in Lister's Got a List, and one of the things I have to improve is patience. Because I know that there's something you can put on the edges to keep it from fraying. It's like a little <clears throat> something in a tube that you just go along the edges and it dries, and then you don't have fraying. But I don't have it, so I just thought I'd take a lighter and go around the edges. And, like, it caught fire, and I didn't notice it. So it did it on, like, two different places. So, um but I cut it down to be uh, the smaller one. So see, that's a good thing about doing the big one first. <laughs> I put a little button on it and I think it looks super cute. And I put those inserts in there that I just made. This is the um, die cuts with a view. I don't remember the name of the paper stack. And I put pink paper and I have my little uh, folder insert in here. that You can put little notes in. And I think it turned out super cute. It was so fun to make. I stitched around the edges. I double stitched just to give it a little something extra because you really are fusing the, um, the fabric to this piece of stuff here. Let me show you. It's called Pellen, this stuff. Pellen Peltec 72F double-sided fusible ultra firm stabilizer. That's what I used. Um, and that way you don't need to um, have any type of uh, other adhesive. The fabric just, you iron it on and it sticks on both sides and it was like the perfect thickness. That is, um, doesn't really give a thickness. Pellen Ultra Firm Stabilizer. Uh, but it worked great. I mean, it was the first time I ever did anything like that. Um, I did use, um, not grommets, these are the smaller ones, you know what they are. I used my crocodile. I used the smaller um, hole punch of the crocodile, and then I just had these from forever ago, and these are from Joann's, and I used black. What are, they're not grommets, they're um, the other things that I can't think of. I am brain dead, you guys, seriously, like I have no brain, but you know, whatever they're called. I like it though. I'm really happy. And actually the middle one, I put the backing on. Like see the backing? Which because the hole was actually bigger than I wanted it to be, um, I didn't put the backing on these and I will put the backing on the other when I make another one. Because I'm going to make more. I have more of that fabric. I can definitely make another big one. You can get two big ones out of a fat quarter. Um, so I have that fabric and then I'll definitely, I'll make more. I mean, I'll try selling these at my craft show, but they're fun to make. It was fun to get my sewing machine out. And I mean, I'm sure you could do fancier stitches because this isn't really, it's just for decorative because it's, it's already adhered to the um, Pellen, Peltex, whatever, the, feeble, the stabilizer or whatever it is. But um, it's pretty firm. I like the firmness of it. Um, it stays open. And then I just made my little elastic band and I put a button on it. I think it's super cute. Like you could even use like um, silver thread. I just use this like, um, it has a little bit of a metallic in it. This, where the heck did I put that? My elastic, this. I got this at Joann's. This is a sparkle elastic cord. So, but I have black, I have white, but I just thought I'd, so I put the black, they're not grommets, but you know what they are. And then I did white, and then I put pink uh, cording, pink flower, pink paper, and I love it. I think it turned out super cute. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go watch um, Outlander. All right, good night.